porque es lo que escuchas. Esto es Rockero.net. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're here right now. My name is Donald Rogers. We're here in a very private, very beautiful, and very um, honorable moment for me. I'm right now about to share the, this microphone with a gentleman that I've admired for a long time, and he's a legend, and he's been doing a lot of things in this rock and roll movement. With you, with, with I proudly present to you, Mr. Alan Parsons. How are you, Mr. Alan Parsons? Doing good, thanks. How are you? Just very honored, first of all, for the words for that we could share exactly what is Alan Parsons' project doing because, like we were talking a little while ago, I've seen you year after year coming here to Las Vegas, and it's always a full house, but I would like to know, um, how do you feel right now? What, what's going on with Alan Parsons' project? Well, um, technically, the Alan Parsons' project doesn't operate under that name in the in the context of live shows we call it the Alan Parsons Live Project and um, we have been coming to Boulder Station in Las Vegas for I must be approaching 10 years now and uh, we love this place we love uh, love playing at Boulder Station we always get uh, good good reaction here it's uh, it's a, it's a pleasure to play here how have you fe filled um, the the people since you know you your music has a lot, has been a lot of since I believe since the 80s since that hit you have a pyramid can you elaborate a little bit on that from that point to right now because we're talking a while ago and you still look fresh happy and doing what a, man, what a gentleman loves to do well it's my it must be my brand of hair dye I think <laughs> it keeps me looking young <laughs> um, yeah I mean um, you know, the, the, the recording success happened just, you know, basically between the years 76 to 87 and um, then there was a, a long period of inactivity um, while I uh, continued to produce records for other people. Um, but we, um, we, we, put a, we put a live band together first for the first time in, uh, I think it was uh, 1994. And um, then I moved to America uh, in order to uh, get married to my American wife um, in uh, 1999 and um, we made an album in 2004 it was called uh, A Valid Path and um, to promote that album and uh, to continue to play live which I, ha which I hadn't done since, uh, since moving to America we put a band uh, together over here all, all American musicians and um, we started playing live, I think it was in 2004. And um, we've just, you know, just been coming to uh, play various venues around America um, ever since, you know. Uh, and thankfully, uh, Boulder Station has had us here, you know, every year since I can remember, <laughs> since the American band was formed. Beautiful thing that I lo love about um, your music, Mr. Parson, is you created like this um, progressive music with pop, and you did it in a very unique time at it was when it was the boom of the '80s. Um, how do you feel your audience from that point to this point? Because we're talking at least 20, 30 years ago. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, tastes in music um, they don't don't evolve that much. I mean. Uh, I think you know the the, um, the people who were following us then are probably still want to follow us now, uh, but what, what does evolve is is what's current, and uh, you know the, the it's it's you know music uh, rock rock and pop music is essentially a youth culture, and and, and uh, the the young people always will you know follow fashion and, uh, and go with the latest thing. But uh, I'm I'm rather pleased to say that the people that uh, that by that would have bought our records back then would still probably be buying them now. And right now, what's what what is your new project? What's your new album? Ever since you started doing this, um, coming once in a while to Las Vegas and and getting starting to get busy again. Um, there's nothing really current uh, musically, um, but I did uh, I did make a DVD series, which is actually an instructional program. Uh, it's called the Art and Science of Sound Recording, and that's uh, that's on on DVD. It's uh, available as a DVD set, or you can download it. Um, but it's um, 
it's you know it's educational, instructional. It's everything you ever wanted to know about sound recording. So that's what that's what I've been spending most of my time doing. Um, I'm in the throes of making an album now, but it's sort of piecemeal, one at, one at a time, and I'm really not sure when I'm going to finish it. it. Might be six months from now, it might be two years from now. I don't know. But you know, I uh, when the when the mood takes me, I get in the studio and, and do stuff. You are, you are your profession is a is a, in, a sound engineer, correct? That's how that's how I started, and uh, from sound engineering, I went into record production, and then. Um, then I started making records under my own name with uh, with Eric Wilson, my 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 ex partner, who was uh, you know essentially a more of a songwriter than a, than a, than a performer, and um, that's that's how it all started, just with uh, with a, a two man team of people, you know, me as producer and Eric as the the main uh, songwriter and businessman, I should add as well. Well, first of all, I want to thank you for these moments, sharing it here for the 702news.com. Like I was telling you, this is a podcast we're doing, and we're what we're doing, it's a mix of different types of music. And as you know, there's, I mean, America is growing and growing and growing, and the beauty about the Internet, it goes a lot of different places. We have our, on our podcast, we're, we do a section of immigration, we do astrology, we're doing... Um, movies and we do musical talent that's why again it's an honor to have you here with us and is there anything you'd like to share with our audience that if if you have a dream in order what like something to say like in in your case from being a, a sound engineer to be into production and i know you've done amazing because the well, first time you were here in Las Vegas, I believe it was in, I don't remember the year, but you were with Yes at the Hard Rock Cafe. And me and my friends from Mexico came all the way just to see you. All right. You have a lot of um, fans all over all over the world. Is there any anything you would like to say, a message for all those people? Because, again, it's, it's a privilege just to be with you, sir. Well, thank you. Um, pleasure for me, too. Um, it's... it's uh, it's it's so nice that uh, I've managed to sustain um, a career over uh, you know 40 years now essentially, and uh, you know just like to say thank you for the, to the people who bought the records and come to the shows that uh, you know that keep paying paying my rent for me so so thank you. Um, I'll just add as a final point uh, if anybody would be interested in that DVD I was just talking about um, and uh, any news about me in general um, the website is www.alanparsonsmusic.com so you can find out all the information there Mr. Parson again it was an honor a privilege and I really appreciate you helping us out get the word and especially to recognize the living icons we have like yourself. I'm very honored, and again, I thank you for this opportunity. And uh, on behalf of the 702news.com, I, th I thank you, and may God keep on blessing you with that beautiful, because you are a muse, sir. They're very kind. Thank you so much.